Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be learning how to use the insertion follows playback function from Pro Tools. So, insertion follows playback. Where is it? Well, very easy. If you go to your edit tools, you go to the row that is right below your edit tools, you'll have your tap to transients um, function, then link timeline and edit selection, link track and edit selection, and the last one, insertion follows playback. So what this does, basically, your your insertion will follow the playback. So wherever your playback is, if you press play, it'll keep playing from that point. And if you stop it, it'll stop. And when you press play, it'll keep playing from that point. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to return to zero. Uh, and so we're back to where the song, or well, in this case, where the timeline starts. And if I press play, you're going to see a playback moving. You're obviously going to listen to whatever is on this music track. And I'm just going to stop it suddenly. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so I just stopped it there. You can see playback stop right there. Now, if I press play again, it'll keep playing for that point. And as you can see, at some point, the audio clip ends, and then it's just nothing. Let's give it a shot. Just I'll just press play. Okay, it's gone. It's still playing. If I stop it, stop right there. If I press play again, it'll keep playing from that point. Stop it. Stop right there. Play back. Plays back from the same point. Now, that's when the insertion follow playback, um, that's when that's on. Okay, as you can see, it's set to blue, indicating that the function is on. Now, if you click on it to turn it off, now that's off. And what happens is, if we go back to the start and we press play. Okay, now if I stop it, it'll jump back to wherever I put that playback when I inserted it, which is back to uh, the start. Now, if I select this area here, actually, if I just select this point here, um, and I press play from there, okay, if I stop it, it goes back to that place, exactly to that place. So, um, when do you use this? Well, if you're just playing back audio material, just listening, you know, you might want to have it on. Now, if you're editing a certain part, like I'm editing here, let's say I'm editing this part, I recommend you to have this off so that you can edit whatever, listen to it. Okay, I didn't like it. Edit it again and just play back again. And it'll play back from the exact same position and you don't have to be constantly placing your cursor where you want it to start. Just place it once and then you can play from there. So that's the insertion follows playback option from Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.